what's up everyone? It's your friend 23 here, and welcome back to a new episode of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. In the last episode, we explored this island right here in the south e southeast. We found a cave that we didn't... We couldn't access this shrine because this uh, thing was like blocked off. But then we progressed on a quest outside and via that quest a pirate ship entered this cave and now we can do the shrine. <laughs> Which is nice. Because we struggled a lot of to get in here in the last episode. And I was thinking it's probably a Ruru blessing here because it was uh, like a puzzle to even get to the shrine. And after this, should we have... Is it seven we have now? And like light blessings? Or is it even eight? It's seven. So one more before it's worth to go and pray. Okay, and I also think we need to backtrack to, to the guy who gave us the quest, so we can finish it. And I don't think we have... that's the only quick travel we have, so we need to build one more car, which is a bit unfortunate. That is okay. I also gonna jump down on the chasm on this island because I guess it's a place that you can only reach from this chasm underneath. I would guess at least, so it can be good to do that now also when we're when we're already here. I can tell you just by looking at what at you that something happened. What's up? What? A cave hidden around the back of the island. And there was a pirate ship. You beat every single pirate on the ship too. Holy cow. You're like a one man monster control crew. I mean, I'm part of a monster control crew and I'm still lost my nerve. Thanks to you, I can finally oh. breathe easy. Oh, I should probably give you some token of gratitude for risking your life. Here, accept this as my thanks. Damn. Blue main Lionel save. That's a great <laughs> reward. Weren't expecting something that rare, weren't you? No, I was not. I picked it up on a previous Monster Control Crew expedition. I've been holding on it as a lucky charm all this time. But you'll probably get more use of it than I would. <laughs> now then, time to put together a report on what happened here and finally leave this island. Once I'm back, I'm turning over a new leaf. No more scare... Scaredy sesame. I'm going... To be capable, capable and courageous like you. So thanks for the help and the inspiration, Mister. I hope I'll see you around. Of course, of course. So we will try to grab this with us down in the chasm. Right, this bond there makes sense. I see nothing. There I see something. That should mean that we're really close to the ground. But we can land here, why not? It's a good sword. And also, let's drop down some... Giant Bright Bloom yeah. Seeds. I wanna climb up there just to gain the height. Then we can build a car up there. Lone Island Coliseum. Ooh. Coliseum, huh? So, boss fights, I guess. Inside here. Yep. That's good to know. Let's build a car here and try to find some type of light route. 
we can quick travel here instead in the future. But we're not gonna fight no Colosseum just quite yet. Oh, let me land again. I forgot the most important thing. While you're in the depths, you need a light on the front. There we go. Why not just go and check this tower out? Yeah, here's a light route also. Okay, so it was just like I thought. Just a little island here by itself. That's a bit unfortunate that we... We have to check this out also. That we built a car then, if it's just this small. But let's take the car... And just take a quick spin around this whole place and just see what you can find here. Maybe we can find some type of zonite or something, because this looks a bit sus. Is this the meaning with it? Okay. But why would I be want to be here? I see those two. I want to go and talk to them. Uh, so I guess I'm gonna leave the, the depths for now. Let's see what they want here. The sky is back on. Ah. What is it? Did you need something from Mr. Brownlee? Mr. Brownlee? Oh. Whoa, a visitor. Oh. Exploring. Uh, whoa, a visitor, that's new. What are you doing here? Exploring. Hmm, exploring a remote island like this. Very well. I'm a scholar, presently engaged in research on the mechanics of flight. Mimo and I ran into each other when I was searching for a test site where I could perform my experiments. It was he who suggested this island. <laughs> Mr. Brandley told me he dreamt of flying without wings. It was all so intriguing, I had to get involved. Oh. You know, I could use a test sub... Uh, a research assistant. I need more details. Hmm. You could just sit back and let the science happen, but no. You want all the ins and outs picked apart? Fine. Oh. Mimo, fill the young man in. Ah. Alright. See the objects over there? That looks like a set of wings. It fell from the sky recently. Mr. Brandley thinks it may be an ancient flying device that could be used to soar freely through the air. But at present, that's only an untested hypothesis. Ah. We need to prove or disprove it by getting on the wings and flying to the objective. Ah. Where's the objective? How about it? Ready to cast off gravity's cruel bonds and soar? Yes. <laughs> you need money? Fine. Ah. 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 Hmm, seeing as you you're new to this experiment, we had best lay out the parameters. Mimo, tell the young man what he'll be doing. Ah. Now that you're on the wings, it's nearly time to take flight. Okay. Gonna aim for the cir circle, huh? Land as close to the target as you can. Maneuvering with the wings may be difficult, but we believe you can steer by maintaining good balance. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ah. So here I guess I'm gonna stand a bit to the left and also back. Oh. I think I hold a pretty okay trajectory here. 
a bit more upward. A bit more upward, please. Oh no, that's no good. Alright, we'll drop in the water here. Yeah, that's bad actually. Let's try again. Ah. You landed 42 meters from the center. Well, not every experiment can be a resounding success. Ah. Five rupees, huh? Yes, let's do another try. I don't know why he would need money for me to fly here, though. <laughs> Maybe he has to purchase the wings. Ah. Ah. So. Distance to beat is 42.1 meters. I feel like we have a better start here. A little bit to the left we need. There we go. Oh, a bit too much maybe. And straight down. Straight down. Nice. That's perfect. Oh. You landed 2.7 meters from the center. <laughs> Wonderful. You look like a bird soaring through the heavens. This will push my research forward by leaps and bounds. Mimo, give this young man his reward and make it big. Mm. Nice. Oh. Ah. All in all, that was worth. And we got a small mini game done. Well, I guess we are done on this island right now then. Because we have unlocked this. So I guess it's time to go back here then and start exploring this. This place, I also remember we had a shrine somewhere here. Maybe that will have to wait. But I, I remember it was like a cave entrance up here. If we just change the. Both to this. So of course I could have built a car and then just loon up, but then when we do the shrine the car will despawn, which is you no know, not so nice. I will just try to ascend the old fashioned way. This is a big mountain to climb though. To be honest. Ooh, I see what I like though. These ones I need to Shoot a bomb barrel one. We might do that and then do the enemies in this little half cave thing looking thing. Okay. You wanna jump actually now? These bomb barrels. Try to do two. Just to see if we get any more. I don't think we get any more. There we go. That's some nice loot. That's what we needed. Let's take take on these dudes also. That's a bit early. That's the worst start you can get, actually. 
Try to jump off in time. Nope. Nope. Me. Something small here. Damn, I was a bit early there, I know. Let me ascend, please. Oh my god. Nothing out. Fucking impossible to ascend sometimes. There we go. Finally. Take all of this loot. Why not? A lot of arrows. Now they tell me straight ahead. Now. Jump, jump. Here we should be able to ascend. But I also think it's inside this cave. Uh, the shrine is, to be honest. I thought this cave was higher up, but I was probably mistaken. And that really looked like fish. Nice. Mount Dunsel Cave. Is it... Um <laughs> Trolls here? Yeah. Is it a silver troll also? Ooh, that's no fun. That's gonna be scary. He's probably gonna hit me here. If I'm not quick. Oh my god. That was lucky. Not fire when it's a wet cave. Is that enough? No, that's enough, huh? Silver horribly in horn. That looks sick, though.
nice. Very nice. Two shock likes. And no. Should be used here. One more, one more. I don't think that's worth. <coughs> this already broken. This weapon I made. Enough for one exchange with uh, that dude again. That wants to become a Satori. That's nice. That's something we probably want. Yeah, but what do we want to drop for it? That's the question. Guess this. That had durability up though. Yes, this spear actually. Probably want to go up there, I would guess. from there so let's just check this thing out Damn. a lot of water huh? oh. I should have one type of car here or boat rather not car this Hopefully make going here a bit easier. Oh. Nice. Yeah. 
<laughs> Have I already <laughs> screwed myself up here? Well, this is really a cave for uh, slip resistance. That's one thing that is for sure. Oh, look here, look here. I missed. But this is actually something you can blow up. Let's do one more. Why I put the car here is... So I can reach this. <laughs> I want it. And now we can continue. Ah, it was only this here, huh? It's actually quite nice. Maybe we can find a diamond here. If we're lucky. But a lot of top passes, which is nice. stupid also of course from here you can ascend up also hopefully not all the way out oh wrong button try that again Enough, huh? The hell? Oh. I was close of killing me. Here we wanna. Where did they even go? Is up here. Aimbot has to get him down here. Then why not? Why not this one? I cannot swim. That's great. I want that spear though. Maybe not. Really need to have to explode this to get it. I guess so. Also, why not? in there and we <laughs> came up here 
That's crazy. And we haven't found the shrine yet. But I think I know at least where I should look for it. Yeah, this felt like an enemy. But sure. I gladly fight a new enemy here. Ah, one of you. Huh? With the impossible stone. Oh my god, that's so bad. First of all, we need a better weapon. I thought that really would hit me. Okay. Use power, we need something blunt. this put that on two-handed if I had any <laughs> for once I don't have two handed so we can destroy the fuse I guess on this there we go Wow, <laughs> that was a nice little fail. Like he's, he's going passive because I critted him, made it, me take damage. That's fair. I guess we wait again. Ooh. <laughs> that was really close. Now you fall. I climb. And you're already... And I fall down. I guess we can do those attacks. I'm gonna throw. The thing is when he fall down he he falls way this is too high up. Nice. One more. Nice. One more please. One more. Okay, if we land on this on the war, we should just do regular attacks. Because those are quicker. And they hit. One more. I guess not. Those are a bit tricky to, to get your to land on those uh, worse there. Oh, nice. Damn. That's a lot of amber. And one more of these. I think actually, if we destroy the fuse on this one, that's better. Oh. 
there's the dragon, but that's the um, frost dragon. But does that mean that other dragons are out as well? That's almost a theory I wanted to test. Because if the frozen is out, then it should mean that this up here should be out. But we also never found the shrine, so I'm gonna backtrack for the shrine, actually. Dragons is for another episode. Just as the stamina went out. Okay. You should be able to do something here. Because like these floats. That's a good shield. Drop that for this. And we're going there. That's where we came from. <coughs> Is that a rock like? Yeah. Means we need to bomb it. down through shake a tribe concentrating before drawing the string will allow you to target distant enemies easily as those nearby nice so like a better sniper bow oh time diamond yes Another one of those, huh? Now we're finally done in this cave, so let us just ascend out, hopefully. Oh, we 
is the dragon still out? Yes. Can we also see... Is that a dragon? No, no, that's not a dragon. But that's... Okay, so we're not gonna see the dragon in the distance there. That's the frozen one. I wonder where the last one came. Let's go and fight the village now. It's time. Let's start on the boat, because I think it's easiest to just clear the boat first. So let's land and reset the stamina. We can do some shots on them. Okay. Bow. We won't. I guess we want this. Also saw some fire there. Let's wake the party up with a bomb. <laughs> that. And then you. Hot headshot. Not the best start though. Like, no one took damage that I thought they would. Okay, let's start with this dude here. Whoa! That's a bit. Let me jump up here again. Now the party is on. Well, with such a bad damage. Okay, most used. break also. Yeah. And he didn't die. Good, the water shield there. Uh, boom. Freeze them for a bit. And 
then wake them up with some fire. Freeze. Fire. Oh. And boom, 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 boom. Drum. Yeah, I was a bit greedy there. Let's do a full heal. That's no headshot, huh? Too late, yeah. I'm uh, anticipating that he's gonna fall. But I don't think I have enough damage for him to fall down by my hits. Feeling that some of these are gonna have a lot of arrows on it, in them. Yeah. Yeah. It's a lot of arrows actually. Let's do this also. I'm joking. Now you have to break. Look at all of these arrows. Very nice. Okay, so before we continue continue the fight, we're gonna fuse a bit of weapons. Let's try one of these. Why not these five? And I probably want spear. I want. That one. And on this. We could take that one. Mm, maybe not the best, actually. Oh well, too late now. On. Um, this one we want. That one. Nice. And then we can do a one handed. Extra durability. I can get one of these. One with four that still doesn't have a fuse on it. Why not one of these? Not those. That's enough. Okay. Now we have to act quickly. No, 
Unless I always snapped a picture on those. Nope. It's a bad picture, but better than nothing. <laughs> I actually need to take a picture on, I guess. and one silver and they saw me and here we have some silvers as well oops didn't think he would hit me there Refill food. <laughs> One more. Oh. If I could hit also. the loot on the silver dude can I hit it This dude drops a tail when we're done with him. Wow. Wow. Eat something. I think we got no... They are sleeping on. Huh? Let's wake them up then. I thought... Um, and I also thought I one-shotted you. Because I didn't.
I thought I would like keep on um, crouch after the sneak strike. Apparently you don't. Nice. Ooh. That's a lot of arrows. It's almost a stack of five in each box in, on this place, which is crazy. So I have to <laughs> clear all the boxes here. That was just one. Okay, so where are the last dudes? This place is done. The boat is done. Maybe this small boat here. Let's jump in and watch. That looks different. Uh, maybe up here somewhere. In here? Yeah. I'm surprised his um, shield held that that many attacks on this sword. Uh, maybe it's because it's not a blunty weapon. Now that I think about it, here's some more. Ah, oh, they're in the well probably. I could guess. Let's jump down. <laughs> Oops. I can't hear the monsters anymore. What? The monsters are gone. Oi! Rosal, everyone. It's safe to come back now. <gasps> it can't be. Those horrible monsters are... They are all gone. Every last one of them. No. I, I saw everything from the houses where I was hiding. This lone warrior type showed up out of nowhere and took out every monster in the village, all by himself. Maha. Whoa, I can hardly believe it. You look like a strong breeze. You look like a strong breeze could blow you over. But you are solid as stone. Extraordinary, that is what you are. Oh. Thank you. I was so re relieved that everyone in the village escaped uninjur uninjured. But still, it was awful. All we could do was watch as the monsters overran our home. If you hadn't come, this village might have been ruined beyond repair. We all owe you a great debt. Thank you very much. Oh. The good news is not all of the houses have been destroyed. If we all work together, I'm sure we can rebuild. Mm -hmm. Don't you worry, I'll fix up all the houses the monsters destroyed. This kid act of chivalry has lit a fire under me. I'm ready to get to work, baby. Oh. Bolson, you're only a visitor, and yet... What can I say but thank you? I'm sorry, but I don't have anything I can give you as a reward. Not with our village in shamble. Of course, once the village is rebuilt, we'll be sure to show you just how warm our hospitality can be. Yes, I'm hopeful we can repay you for all you've done one day, eventually. Aww. Now listen everyone, Lurelin village has been given a chance at a fresh start. If we all do our part, I know we can bring this baby back from the brink. So get ready, because old Bolson here is gonna keep you busy until the village is rebuilt. Okay, time to get busy, I guess. Now that the pirates are gone, even the air itself feels clean again. Truly, I can't thank you enough. Mm -hmm. The way you fought those pirates, it was incredible. Awe-inspiring. 
And now that you have driven them out, it's my turn to get to work. Yes, the pirates may be gone, but that doesn't mean we can roll out the welcome mat yet. Yeah, the, the place needs some, some love first. We have to do something about the state of the village, or no one will return home. Oh. Don't you worry. I might not look I might not look it, but I know a thing or two about construction. Besides, I owe you now. I owe you this whole village for taking me in. And I pay my debts. It's kind of my thing. Mm. Also, this village has charm. I can't wait to restore the restaurant and the lucky treasure shop to the former glory. Oh. Hmm, materials might be an issue though. See, I'm gonna need rather large amount of logs and highland rice. And since I want to use the palm trees as central pillars in the building, the logs have to come from somewhere else. How can I help? Oh! I pressed the wrong button. How can I help? What did you say? No, I appreciate the offer, but you've already done so much. You drove off you drove off all those awful pirates after all. I couldn't ask an outsider to go to so much trouble for us. Oh. And now, if he's off now now, if he's offering to help, who are we to say no? <laughs> As of today, you and me are pals. And because we're pals, I'm gonna let you help me. Now that that's decided, I'm going to briefly go over everything on our to-do list. First, we're going to rebuild each destroyed building's foundation. Oh. So let's see. Yeah. I think you can collect 15 logs for me. That's what we'll need. Uh, when I say logs, I don't mean ones from palm trees. I'm going to use those palm trees for something important. So get those logs from other trees, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm also gonna need a bundle of 20... I'm also gonna need 20 bundles of highland rice to repair the attached roof that were burned. Think you can handle that too? Thank you for everything. I won't be able to assist you myself. I will be looking around and assessing the damage. I'm gonna call this project the Great Lurlin Village Revival. Our first collaboration? How exciting is that? Hey. No pressure or anything, but I'll be counting on you. Okay, so we need 15 logs that are not palm trees. And also Highland Rice. Both of those resources will be something that we gather in the next episode. Because looking at the time, we have run out of it. If you have enjoyed today's episode, please consider liking the video. And also subscribe so you don't miss out on the future episodes. This has been 23. I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.